Stay with tourism, this time in Cuba. There's a tourism boom taking place in Cuba right now with both Americans and Europeans wanting to see the country before it changes. But that search has put a strain on the island's tourism industry with the hotels and private lodgings all struggling to meet the demand. As CCTV's Michael Voss reports, it isn't just Capital Havana that's trying to cope. The Valley of Vinales, with its distinctive rock formations, is one of Cuba's top rural attractions. Busloads of tourists come here on day trips to what is the heart of tobacco country, about 170 kilometers from the capital Havana. Visitors to the tobacco drying shed see how to hand roll a cigar, followed by lunch at a 300-seat country restaurant where an increasing number of the day trippers come from the United States. I think Cuba's on the, the edge of a change. And I think in a few years, this won't be the same Cuba. So we wanted to see it. It's still looking pretty busy now. A lot of people from, I guess we're a little isolated coming from New York, but Cuba's been open to the rest of the world for a long time. In the heart of the valley sits the town of Vinales, a population of some 8,000 people. 3,000 tourists stay every night, a 13% increase compared to a year ago. Vinales has long been a popular tourist destination, but as the number of visitors has grown, it's the private sector which has benefited the most. Every one of these restaurants is privately owned. In 2010, there were no private restaurants. Today, according to the town council, there are more than 70. And the three state-run hotels now compete with more than 800 private homes, all offering bed and breakfast. Homeowner Juan Reyes is booked for the next two months and already taking orders for August. Most of his guests come from Europe, but he now plays host to Americans as well. We didn't come with a lot of expectations, knowing that it's a, a country that's been embargoed for so long and resources are short. So this is completely exceeding our expectations that the hose has gone out of their way to find all of these great food, which is not always easy to do. The private sector also provides guides for hikers and horseback riders. There may be thousands of tourists, but the valley covers more than 100 square kilometers offering plenty of space to leave the crowds behind. Michael Voss, CCTV, Vinales, Cuba.